Hey, I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a custom tool cart with removable drawers. If you're like me and you have a wood shop, but you also have a lot of other interests, it can be really difficult to keep the sawdust out of your other tools. So today I wanna to make a cart that can hold all my leather working tools and supplies, but keep them relatively dust free. I wanna make a cart that I can put them all in, close it up, roll it off, but then when I wanna use it, I can roll it up to a work surface and pull all the tools out. This really doesn't have anything to do with leather working. It's really about hiding away tools that you don't want dust on. You could have an electronics cart or mechanics tools or sewing, whatever you wanna keep clean in a wood shop. I've got a super rough sketch here just to get an idea of the proportions. Basically it's going to be a plywood box with some slide-in containers to hold all the tools. That'll keep them dust free. I'm going to have an open area at the bottom to hold chemicals and dyes for the leather. The sewing machine will be mounted up top and then be covered with some sort of a sewn cover. And then this whole thing will be sitting on some casters that you can raise and lower. Because when you're using the sewing machine you don't want this thing rolling around on you. Alright, let's get started. I put the dado stack on the table saw. I've got it 3 eighths of an inch thick. I've got it the same height so that I can cut some rabbits in the end of those two long pieces for the top and the bottom to fit into. It's just gonna make them a little bit stronger. Then I'll go back and swap this out for 3 quarters of an inch or half inch depending on what material I use for the inside shelves and we'll cut dados on those same pieces. I've swapped out the blade for a three quarter of an inch dado. So that'll be a nice thick dado. It's gonna cut in these two side panels. And that's so that I can slide in shelves that are also three quarters of an inch plywood. Now I've got these marked out where I want them on this piece. So I'm gonna line up those markings with the blade next to the fence. I'll run one side and then the next side, and then I'll move the fence. That way I'll get two cuts that are always in line with each other between these two pieces. When I was cutting these pieces of plywood, I noticed that there was a really big bow in one of them, and those pieces have ended up in different orientations. So we've got a big kind of potato chip up here, and then some of these actually have it in this direction. I wasn't planning on using any screws in these, but I'm gonna go ahead and countersink and add a few screws on the outside just to lock everything together and get it into the shape that I want.
I've got the basic structure of this thing done. It went pretty quickly. Next, I have to make the drawers that go in here, the little trays that'll come out. But after looking at this, I actually would like to dress it up just a little bit. A long time ago, I made a shadow box for some small pieces out of plywood, and I didn't like the way that the exposed plywood looked, so I cut some really small strips of walnut and put on the front. I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. If I take some walnut, cut it down into three quarter inch strips, really thin, I can cover the edge of all this plywood and just dress the whole thing up a little bit. I ran out of pin nails yesterday to hold these pieces down, so I used some blue tape and it seemed to work just fine. I wanted to make sure that I pointed out that when I laid these on the plywood, I made sure that the excess, the little bit of overhang is on the outside so that I have a nice long strip of overhang that I can cut off with a flush trim bit and a router. So I'm gonna go back and trim up all of this and then take a card scraper to scrape off the top surface and then do a little bit of sanding, we should be good to go. So we've got our basic carcass for this cart. The next thing is to make some trays that are gonna fit into these three slots. I'm gonna make a deeper one here for leather scraps to go in, and then the tools will drop into these smaller ones. These are not gonna have any kind of drawer slides because I want them to be able to come out completely and set on the table, and they can come out from either side, so there's no front and back to this thing. I've made these really simple frames and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a rabbit to the bottom inside of these and just drop in a panel. These are not super structural containers. They don't have to be. They're just gonna hold some extra tools. I'm trying to decide at this point if I still wanna put a big drawer in here. I may just put the scraps in, not really sure, but if I do, it'll basically be the same construction of these top two. Down here on the bottom is where I'm gonna put all the bottles of dye and different bottles that you need around leather working. And I wanna make sure that those don't fall out when this moves. So I've cut some pieces of walnut. I'm gonna put those in just to add a little lip so they won't fall out. Then up top here, I've got a little bit more plywood I need to hide, so I'm gonna put some more edge banding made out of walnut around the top surface. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then start adding some finish while I'm waiting for the casters that I ordered to show up. After I got the top trimmed up, I went ahead and filled all the holes from the screws with some wood filler, and instead of trying to hide them, I tried to accentuate them by using walnut wood filler. So once I put some finish on them, these points should be a lot darker and kind of stand out. The other thing to do is to make some really simple pulls on the front of these trays, and I'm gonna use some just simple blocks of walnut, shape these up, and stick them on the front and the back, and then we should be ready for finish.
So what will happen is once we run along this router fence, which will be clamped to the table saw fence, then it should just cut a little rabbit out there of the pieces and that'll be enough for your fingers to get under. The lacquer dried really quickly, so we're ready to move on there. Next, we're gonna put on these casters. Now, these fit on the side of any kind of a workbench, and they'll let you roll it around, but then if you let up on this little pedal, it lifts the caster off the ground, setting the object down fully on the ground. And so that way, this will get planted in place. It won't move around and roll while I'm trying to use the sewing machine that's on top. Let me install these, and then I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to be drilling through the face of this, and if I don't put anything on the back side of it, it'll blow out that plywood, so I'm just going to put a piece of wood behind it. You could clamp that on to be even better, but I think just holding it in place should do alright. This thing is sitting on an uneven spot in the floor, so it's rocking a little bit, but it's not engaged on the wheels. Once you push these things down, it lifts it up onto the wheels, and then you can roll it around. I'm gonna permanently mount this sewing machine to the top of this, but obviously you could use this surface for whatever, customize it to whatever you're doing. This machine needs to be mounted down to a surface, and so I'm gonna lock it on here, and then load everything up, and then we're done. Now that we've got that mounted, it's time to start putting all the supplies in this, but I didn't really explain what this little slot right here was for. When you're doing leather working, it's really handy to have a slab of granite or marble or something really hard like that and a cutting mat. So I've got those right here. And this slot is so you can just slide them in and they're hidden away until you need them. Now these are ready to load up. If you needed to, you could always put some paste wax on the bottom to make them slide really well. These actually slide pretty well as it is. So we're gonna take these out and fill them up. So here it is, a tool cart that honestly you could use for just about anything. I'm excited to have all of my leather working tools in one place that are relatively dust free. I can roll this right up to a table, pull out a drawer, and immediately start working. I've still got some work to do though. I need to sew a cover for the sewing machine. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'll probably do it later on and post a picture of it on Instagram, so if you don't follow me over there, be sure to go do that. Hopefully you liked this project and it gave you some tips or tricks or ideas, and if it did, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. We've got tons of other types of projects that you also may want to check out, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Custom tool cart. Dang it. Custom tool cart. Dang it. <laughs> and then these are going to be on coat.
coasters. Before we please put that in. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. 